Hello and welcome to Life's What You Rated, episode 19. My name is Michael Nip, and this is my brother, Marcus Nip. And we are opening the show off in a way that normal podcasters open a show off. This is the show... Okay, Michael, this is bad. We can't do this. This is the show... We're lying to the people. Where we rate everything on a scale I have from a 1 show. to 10. I have an intro. That's not trash. Okay, I guess I'll use your idea then. Michael? What? I think we need to put out the word with this show. I liked my intro. No, I have an idea for... No, we're going to put out the word. What's the word? Bird? No, I'm not doing that job. <laughs> <laughs> stupid we need to get so the xfl's a thing correct uh it's gonna be 2020 so essentially any stupid idea that any stupid people have can be an important thing that's done for the internet no you have to have enough money okay but still well i mean we, we're doing this did i ruin your bit i'm sorry no we're doing this okay so we gotta make an olympic meet meet cup team meet cup Okay, meet explain Meat Cup to the masses. Okay, so Meat Cup is a thing that was invented by um, your brother-in-law, my lifelong friend. <laughs> um, and you essentially you put um, you get a weighted plastic cup, and it's weighted at the bottom, and you it throws very far and very well, and you play Ultimate Frisbee rules with that instead of a frisbee. Well, you're supposed to use meat, hamburger. No, it's pulled pork, but okay, still. That's why it's a meat cup. That's why but they it, changed the rules because evidently playing with like raw meat is not good. Yeah, I don't get it. Who knows? It was a whole thing. However, we make a national meat cup team starring me and you. You're trying to lose weight in competition with dad. Are you calling me fat? I mean, not any fat. I'm not calling you any fatter than you've called yourself on this show. Touche. I, Can you two say something you say? No, that's you. It's, you say mic drop, but oh. don't drop it. It's, Can I try again? Yeah, I'm not calling you any fatter than you called yourself on this show. I like that you touch the mic. It's gonna sound really good in post. Okay, I I I gotta slap that mic every episode, my dude. Um, what is you, this show? Your intro sucks. We're using both intros. We're just gonna do. And we'll let people stuff. vote. I give your intro. Five out of ten. It was barely serviceable, but fine. My I give your intro. I mean, here's the thing. I think for any other show, your intro was a very good big boy intro, and we're all very proud of you for any other show that's not this one. Well, I'm a grown up. I can't give a baby answer like you, like a child. What was my intro last time? Hallmark movies. I don't. Yeah, that's a grown up, more grown up intro because at least you talked about Hallmark. I don't even know what you talked about this time because it was so I was oh. so boring. I zoned out. Hold on, I got it this time, Michael. Yeah, I got an intro for sure. Oh, we don't do that. Hey, Michael. Yep. So you know our target demographic being moms and whatnot. Word. What is one things that moms are big, big fans of? Dads. Well, yes, but besides that, um, children. Close. Hallmark cards. They're big fan of cards. Dude. No, like, they don't buy no Hallmark cards? cards because Hallmark cards are too expensive. They go to Target to the dollar section because that's how much they love their family. One dollar worth. Have you... Can we just agree that one thing that moms need... Hey, moms. This is a thing we're going to rate real quick. Just to kind of help you guys out for... Amanda, this is for you and your baby children. Thank you notes are out of date. Don't do those. The only reason you should do a thank you note is if you can't say thank you in person to the person who gave you the thing. Preach, dude. Why in the world do thank you notes exist in 2018? It's maddening and do also wanna, asinine and also bad for the environment. Do you want to know why they actually exist? Thank you notes, no joke, exist. Because old people still live? No, it's because back in the day when people would send you well, gifts. Oh, no, no. I know why they originally yeah, yeah, existed. People would send... So, like, again, if you are at your graduation and your grandma can't make it and she sends you a card and you write her a thank you note because you she's not there to say thank you in person i can't call her a skype her. but like i i get i can i can get that she sent you a card with the money in it you'd take the time to send her a card to say hey thank you for the dollars like i get that however i'm gonna use them to buy weed <laughs> thanks grandma grandma going to colorado is, this is going to those good good edibles the thanks. mile high club it. if you know what i'm saying gotta get those miles this is the first podcast where you've been drinking. Lysol. Nope. Listerine. Dang it. 
Lysol was a suicide joke. Did you drink Lysol joke. as a kid? I drank Lysol as a kid once. How'd you go get your stomach pumped? I went to the, um, uh, I got a 911 hospital. Nope. Ambulance. <laughs> no, it was one of those hospitals that, <laughs> that drives to you. That brought me to the hospital, and they put a bunch of suction cups on my stomach, which... I don't know what that... probably monitored me. I know. It was definitely somebody, something, freaking doctor The problem was they didn't know how much Lysol I ingested. If it were now, the whole bottle. Dude, I don't do anything halfway when it comes to eating or drinking. If you're going to call me fat, I'm going to tell you the truth. (laughs) I listened to a Minecraft Let's Play, and this guy was just telling a story about when he was... What a freaking nerd! (laughs) Dang it! Heck darn you! (laughs) Okay, this is a good story. When he was a kid, he was outside playing in the heat for a long, long time, and for some reason, there was a pitcher of gasoline on the counter. So gasoline's clear, right? So he walks in and assumes it's water and downs half of this pitcher and almost dies as an eight-year-old kid because somebody left gas on the freaking table. Gasoline isn't clear. It's like yellow. He's like, I'm gonna drink this pee here real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna drink this. Oh, Let me chuck this, ro- this room temperature pee. What's up? <laughs> oh heck, darn. Yeah. Anyway, this is the show where we rate things, and we haven't done any of that, but we have told some funny jokes. I mean, we rated. Let, okay, hold on. Let's rate thank you notes. Uh. I mean, four. I feel like four, because two is too low. I don't hate them that much. Four is, four is good. They're not great. Yeah. Two is too low. There's no threes, so it has to be a four. Yeah. Because so, it's still bad. It's not fine. Yeah, like, um... Did you bring anything to actually rate this week? I did. What is it? Oh. Um. Did you forget? No. Is this I the didn't. week we did it at the same, we did the same one? Maybe. What is yours? I doubt it. Um, I'm gonna. It's gonna take some foley work. Um, are you ready for this? Yeah, dude. Do the foley. I love freaking audio it's dramas. Not, it's not foley work. It's just me singing a song, actually. Okay. Here come the red and black. May galaxy defend. Will Smith used to release songs with movies that he would do. I thought about this the other day. And and they were so good and fun, and you got so pumped about them. Look at Wow Wow. <laughs> The, Will Smith used to release. Did we talk about this before? Because Will so. Smith used to release songs with every movie that he did, and they were so good. Even if they weren't, though, it was good. It was good because it's so amazing that you have a movie single to promote your movie. It's so just. It doesn't such make a any idea. logical sense. Why would you do that? But it's fun. But why? Because it's fun. But like, hey, hey, Michael, why do you hate fun? I love the band fun. I hate the act of having fun. <laughs> that was a bad laugh. <laughs> because. No, uh, the truth is I do love the song Men in Black. And I do think that we. I, I've never seen Wild Wild West. But I think that the song Wild just, West is probably better <laughs> than the movie. There's no, there's no way. And I've heard not. other people agree with that sentiment. Here's the problem. But it wasn't just a Will Smith thing. Other artists have done songs, like Disney artists do it all the time. Like what? You put me on the spot. Hold on. I don't know what you're even talking about. I you're talking about like Disney Channel original movies yes. or real ones? No, original movies. Okay. But also like freaking like Ludacris with Fast, Too Fast, Too Furious. No, but like... well, Okay, so that's a good example. It's like Ludacris with Too Fast, Too Furious. But the Ludacris problem... with uh, Fast 6. What did he do for Fast 6? Another song I don't remember, and Two Chains has a song for Fast X. He's not in it, but he. But like it. they pro- the point is they promote a movie through a song. But like no, the thing about Will Smith's particular brand is he just tells you what the movie's about in his song. Like he's telling you the, the good aliens guys are coming. Black, remember that just, just in, in case, case you ever face to face and make contact. contact. The title <laughs> held by me, M I B, means what you think you saw, you did not see. That's all I know, though. So good. This is something about the Black Ray Bands on. Oh, he does do. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the movie Men in Black. Never seen it. What? Never seen. Have it. you seen any of them? Nope. It's the first one's pretty good. I'm told that one and two are good. The first one's pretty good. The second one is fine, and I'm the third one trash. is like, what if we tried to make this a little serious and you stopped laughing because we told you a very sad story? You're like, 
That's not what Men in Black is. I shouldn't cry in a Men in Black movie Did unless it's from laughing. I mean, I didn't. Because I'm a freaking man. Okay, can I tell a story about you? Okay. Do you remember when we saw Lion King 3D together? Yeah. And we both cried when Mufasa died? Well, because that's one of the saddest moments in film history. I think we've talked about this before. Let's skip over we it. We did. Oh, I forgot. It's okay. Listeners didn't listen to the beginning episodes. We're getting more listeners now than ever. Thanks to you, the listener. The new ones, not the old ones. You guys Screw you trash. guys. Thanks for promoting it. Yeah, you guys did not do your job of promoting us because we're not as big as we should be. Um, And if we ever get big enough, we'll be way too big than we deserve. Everything that we get, including the mainstream media hit pieces, which will inevitably come because you decide to cut your hair like Donald Trump. Maybe, actually. I've been thinking about hairstyles recently. I think I need to get, get a cut. I I'm don't... the one that's balding. I think maybe I should go for the comb over. You should do a comb over and I'm going to cornrow. Is that racist? Dude, I don't think I don't think you should cornrow. I'm just going to say that. I, this isn't a joke for the podcast. I just think that if you did a cornrow, it would be one of the most... Just You would look like freaking Post Malone. Dude, Post Malone... I used to work with a girl who talked about how Post Malone was the most attractive man she's ever seen. And I'm like... <laughs> and it's it like people that think Johnny Depp are hot. It wasn't a bit... Like, Post Malone's a gross-looking boy. <laughs> it's like people that... I heard somebody once say that Lil Wayne was super hot. Uh, I was like, dude... No! Until everybody has their own tastes for what they think is attractive in a male or female, and yours are wrong, and... <laughs> They're Can bad. we acknowledge that girls have zero metric for attractive boys? No, 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 no. Girls don't have a universal metric for attractive boys. A girl, yes. pers- one girl will have a metric that it does not apply to other girls. Like, generally speaking, you can talk to dudes, and dudes can look at different ladies. And, and one can think you, that she's the most attractive person. If you have ten dudes look at five ladies, you're not necessarily going to get 100% agreement on which is the most attractive lady but i'm telling you if you do that test and you repeat it 100 times the answers are going to be way the heck closer than if you do it with ladies because ladies are going to look at a dude like johnny depp and be like he's so dreamy i'm like the heck are you smoking johnny depp is a scary looking sketchy scuzzy little man it'll literally the one girl will just look at johnny and be like ew (laughs) and like oh dude post malone Ew, Lil Wayne? Gross. Uh, I don't... I don't even... I don't see it. I don't get it. But you want to know something I do appreciate about Post Malone? If a girl says... That he's been popping pillies and feels so much like a rock star. If if a girl says, George Clooney, he's such a dreamboat, I look at George Clooney and go, I've got nothing on him. He's a beautiful man. He's a beautiful... Somebody... I think it was Danny tried to say that the dude who played... Um, Captain Kirk, what's his name? Do you know it? And the new Chris Pine, yeah, was the hottest dad, and essentially it's old, attractive man in Hollywood. I was like, um, George Clooney, and she's like, oh, dang it! And I was like, yeah, that's what I thought. George Clooney is the hottest dad. Is yeah, I mean, Chad Michael Murray is the hottest guy, and as George as just, Clooney is the hottest like, old guy. Old guy, yeah. People say Daniel Craig, but Daniel Craig. I don't know who also that is. attractive, James Bond, the new one. Also attractive, not George. No, Clooney no, no. Attractive. The new James Bond is Idris Elba. Dude is smoking. I don't know who that is either. Freaking the dude from uh, the Rainbow Bridge and Thor. Oh, he's a beautiful man. The the guy from the Office who comes in and he's mean to Michael Scott. Did you forget he was in the Office? He's also the gunslinger in the new movie, Gunslinger. Oh, dude, that guy. Yeah, I just saw him. Helheim. What? Heim, Heimel. Right? Heim, Heimel? Heim. Heimlich. Are you talking about the dude from... Heimlich from Thor. Yeah, from Thor. Yeah, that's With that guy. With the big sword. And that's why I said, lying. the Rainbow Bridge guy. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, but then I thought you could have sworn because the last Thor movie I'd seen was Ragnarok and that Dingus takes over. With his two guns, Destin's Troy oh, or whatever. Yeah, no. And I was confused. I was like, no, that guy, what? that guy is Aomer from Lord of the Rings. I'm talking about yes. uh, I just Elba, the cool, sexy black man. Yeah, he's a dope dude. Dude's dope. 
Yes. Have you seen him use he's gonna that be the very new, big sword? He's going to be the new James Bond. I'd get. I might watch uh, my first James Bond. The previous movie. James Bond was Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. He is in. He is in Spider Storm Storm Star Wars. There we go. Who's in Star Wars? <laughs> he plays it. One of when Ray mind Jedi mind tricks. He was one of the. Okay, here's the thing. I think we're losing the plot. He's a very attractive man. <laughs> Like, possibly, like, George Clooney level, I think. But I don't think he's as old as George Not Clooney. Not as close, though. He's a good-looking boy. <sighs> However, we can both agree that George Clooney and that guy. I forgot his name already. Idris. Idris. Idris? It depends on who you are. Are not Chadwick level. Do you know that, like, Chad's Chad's beard just makes him irresistible? Chad Michael Murray has a beard now, and let me tell people, ladies, Google Chad Michael Murray beard, and this trash we and have going on, both of, us, both of us have some terrible facial hair going on right now, <laughs> and it's absolute but it's the do opposite you have of Chad Michael hair Murray. for the same reason I do of you look like a 12-year-old without it? I have, fa- uh, that's normally why I have this. My facial hair that I have right now is literally because I hate to shave, <laughs> because it takes so long. And I can't grow facial hair to save my life, but I look like a freaking no joke twelve year old. If I, thought I you don't, were, aren't you twelve? Yeah. Oh, you turned thirteen on your birthday. Yeah. Okay. My I bad. look a whole year younger. Oh my goodness. Well, you would think I'm freaking thirteen with the amount of facial hair I can grow, Michael. I haven't shaved parts of my face in months. Look at me. Months, my dude. I can't do it. You I was just staring into his yeah, eyes for the people listening to the audio podcast. I was trying to make him feel weird. It, it 100% worked. Nailed it. Very funny. Okay. What well, were what you about rating? Will Smith? Oh, Will Smith. Uh, no, just people Are we rating Will Smith people, or are we rating no, theme people songs making, for movies? People making songs. I would like to, to rate movies. Will Smith at a 9. Yeah. I was going to say a 10, but then there are some times that he's not very Sometimes good. Sometimes he makes Battlefield Earth, which I haven't seen. But are you it looked about like After Earth? Dang it. Sometimes they try to make his very funny show about serious Do you know stuff. Let's just okay. We didn't have a serious discussion right now. When I was a teenager, I was pretty quick witted, and we used to be able to riff off of each other, and make funny jokes. And now I'm 27, and you're my old age, which is like 20, 20. I'm 20. And we used to like be able to riff on each other and be funny, and we thought about making a funny podcast. And I think I may be burning out because I realize the last couple episodes that we recorded is my brain no longer fires on all of its synapses i'm misfiring so often here's what i think the problem is i think that well one we're a little burnt out because we were doing some riffing earlier today that worked better when we were in that group of people no i'm not referring to today i'm referring to like yeah, i'm saying i think what i think honestly what i think it is is we're both getting older and we're sleepy boys all the time I think we need to be able to record at like noon. Just uh, get that good brain juice like maybe, going. Like maybe I shouldn't take Xanax before we record because it yeah. makes me sleepy. Just not pop all those Xannies. Mm. I mean, but I can't. I can't really complain. I did just down this freaking lean on the show. It, it does look like lean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ten out of ten, by the way, if you're asking. Um. <laughs> So Will Smith's a nine. Will Smith is a nine, but but songs ten because promote, I don't so understand good. why it's good, but it is good, it's so good, and it makes things better. I enjoy it. One night, everything. What are you singing? One try, everything rides on two night. Even if I've got three strikes, I'm gonna go for it. This moment, we oh, own it. Was that for that movie? It's for Fast Six. Oh, I knew that song. I didn't realize it's it was two chains. a whole thing to for the two chains. You sound like Lil John. I I I. You know Lil John? Yeah 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 <laughs> yeah that yeah one. yeah 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 that one. <laughs> Dude, I watched an interview with T-Pain last night because I couldn't sleep at 3 a.m. and it's one of my favorite things. One of the first things I ever heard Lil Jon rap on was a sampling of Crazy Train. (laughs) 
it was not very good, but it was good, if you know what I'm saying. Dude, I forgot that T-Pain's first album's called Rapid Turnt Sanga. Sanga. It's Rapid Turnt Sanga. Because it's really was... funny to go like, Alexa, what's T-Pain's first album? And she's like, Rapid Turnt Sanga. Dude, I also didn't realize that he had some sort of accent when he speaks. He's from the South. I realized that yeah, he's after a southern watching accent. him. It's so good. Yeah, I dude, love... He's I like could a Georgia listen, boy. I could listen to T-Pain talk. <laughs> he's such a weird... Also, he has, All day. He has so much money. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Shut up. I'm in love with the stripper. Um, like, so, like... What's a what's a good new movie to have like a theme song for, and who should make the theme song? Are we talking like, let's see, what's a new hot new movie? Um, what's coming out this year? Is there a Star Wars movie or a Marvel movie coming out? Both. What? Both. Of, I mean, well, yes. I mean, for this Christmas, like every time. oh Christmas, like or like fall. Star, Star Wars. Are we really close to a Marvel movie? No. Like, what if Ant Man two? Had had Ryan Macklemore and Ryan Lewis make one because their first album is called The Heist and they're heist Wait, movies. Didn't Kendrick Lamar kind of do that for Black Panther? Oh, he did totally. Yeah, actually. like that happened, and it's pretty good. Yeah, not as good as Will Smith because he didn't just tell me the plot of the movie. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> he he didn't just go. It's Lion King, but kind of doper. <laughs> it's just like Frozen, you know. <laughs> A bunch of people fight the bad guys. We got rich technology. <laughs> then then Captain Wakanda jumps in and wins the day against Michael B. Jordan, that good, good football player. Michael from B. Friday Jordan's Night a Lights. bad guy who stuck a bunch of tattoos on his butt for murdering fools. They're not tattoos, they're scars. <laughs> you were close. Scars? They're scars, that's what he says. Well, whatever, he scars himself, because whatever, dude. Man, I like the part of that movie. This is really funny. Keep going, I don't, dude. I don't. I don't have a bit. Oh, I'm slipping. I like the part of that movie when they did such a good job of not literally slapping a date on that movie until the sister goes, "What are those?" And then I'm like, "Oh, dang it! Frick! They freaking just put a timestamp on the stupid movie." I also forgot that it was a Disney movie, even when they made the Disneyland reference. And then afterwards, I cringed, <laughs> like post act, post retro. Retroactively. <laughs> I'm slipping, dog. It has nothing to do with today. It has everything to do with my age. You know that in the esports scene, people my age are considered like grandpas? Yeah, that is true. You're, I'm up and coming. But once I hit 23, downhill. Isn't 23 the, the active? Like after 23? Yo, what do you think about... And I know we talked about sports before, but it's about to become super relevant again. The football. What do I think about football? Yeah, dude. Not the soccer kind. The one with the pigskin. Um, I think it's neat. I think it's one of the most entertaining sports to just watch. I think um, there's a surprising amount of spandex, considering everybody who plays football professionally is supposed to be a very tough boy. Here's why I don't... And they all wear a lot of spandex. Have you ever just thought wrestling. about how much freaking... But, like, no, how much freaking just spandex man butt most people get thanks to football? Why do you think women watch football? It's like, um, like, uh, I was going to make a joke and it's just a little too non-PC. Why do you think guys watch chick flicks? Because women are attractive to look at. They don't give a crap about the story. Hold on, though. I've never once watched Cinderella Story for... Hillary Duff. I, I'm not talking about like, as a chick flick. As a kid, I'm talking like as a grown up. How are you going to get a dude into the theater? You put an attractive lady in the role. How do you get ladies to watch football? You put a bunch of strong men in tight butt pants. <laughs> tight butt, tight pants. butt pants. Well, they're tight butt pants, but also tight butt pants. Yes, <laughs> take that as you will. <laughs> um. I think that I get very frustrated because essentially all Don't you dare go off on no, a stupid... All, all quarterbacks are kind of pansies. And they get no, that's so true. many rules to 
freaking like, no, that's well, true. Well, you see, this guy was sort of well, he got hit by a very big boy, Yo, so dude, we can't let that happen. This again. is my problem with the quarterback rules. They're like, well, you have to protect the quarterbacks. They're smaller dudes. If you hit a quarterback with a three hundred pound linebacker, it's going to hurt him. And I said, well, then get bigger quarterbacks. Yeah. <laughs> you dummies. You don't protect them because they're weak. Because like, well, they're smaller people. Well, then get bigger ones. It's yeah, that, look, it's simple. look, look, you clearly don't have a shortage of big boys. There's a you're, lot of big boys in the field. Have one of them throw the ball. Your big boys are not, you have a surplus of very big boys. Just use one of them. There's get extra the, big boys. Get rid of these There's small big boys, boys sitting on the bench and they could be in. Get rid of these small boys. If anything, I'd be like, I'd be like, kickers also you see the like quarterbacks do a little quarterback slide Qu- that you quarter- can't tackle me i slid quarterback, you quarterbacks are freaking bigger than kickers though i'm gonna lay you out you're not even the smallest people in a stupid football field kickers also tons of special rules like dude which i i understand some rules because they're doing a weird kicking motion and they're and also they're- standing completely still and getting hit by somebody that's run 70 yards yes it's like wham I, I get those knock them right uh, out of their however, shoes however you could also get some bigger kicker boys probably because there are kickers who besides yeah. height are not that much bigger they're than like, us they're just like well we have to get skinny boys to throw the ball because they can throw the ball better is that discrimination against big boys why can't they throw the ball better I've always thought football's been very discriminated against small bo- or small boys. Big boys, I mean. You said that because... Yeah, what? Football's always been discriminated. <laughs> I can't yes say this if I don't know you where you're going. Football <laughs> is very discriminating against those big boys. They okay. think that all the big boys can do is big boy things and not line. think. And yeah. not think very good. They treat them like they're but, rocks. But they're big, big ones. <laughs> Which, ironically, I would argue that some of these kickers, considering how small they are, have some pretty big rocks. Because you should see the people running at them. But, um, freaking, like, no, I honestly do think that. Why don't they just get very big quarterbacks? Because, hey, noosh flash, big boys can be smart, too. Should that be, like, a, a PSA we do? Big boys can be smart, too. Can we expand? We should it? put that on a freaking T-shirt. Can we expand it to fat people too, so I can be involved? Well, I would. I would say you're a big boy. Like, but if we're talking like big, like some of these people weigh as much as me, but they're like actually tall. They're built like trucks, and also it's all muscle. Yeah, instead of just like that's a belly slap for you in the uh, audio version. The thing is, like, people love this football thing, and, like, as someone that hasn't necessarily been in the football bubble, it is astounding to watch the whole world just kind of, like... Especially where we live. We just, like, stop pretending that, like, politics are important, and the global economy is important, and, like... That Trump's not a tyrant. Oh, and that Alex Jones got banned. Ah, dang it, freaking again, Michael! And that PewDiePie reviewed a hot new meme, and that Logan Paul showed a dead body. We all forget about all this stuff, just for a moment, so we can watch those boys throw the pigskin around and hate each other in tight butt pants. Also tight butt pants. And is that, I mean, that's kind of good, that sounds kind of cool, like it's a unifying thing. Like, like, like when you go to a wrestling event and you oh, talk dude, to the dude so next good. to you and no one cares for, like, the three hours you're at the show, whether or not you voted to raise minimum wage. You're like, dude, that guy hit that other guy so cool. And he flipped and did it. And you're like, That guy just dude, did a suicide sick. dive? And then picked... And, and then, then picked up this other boy and hit the boy with the boy from the crowd. And then you all chant and you're like, <gasps> hit him again. Or some other dumb guy. You deserve just, it. Yeah, you deserve it. There's an actual good chant because I'm yes. freaking misfiring again. Yes. But like. Yes. Yes. Is, that's what sports is for regular, like normies. <laughs> Are you laughing because I said normies or because you got a text? Dude, my phone's been blown up this whole time. But Mine too. also because you said normies. Mine's work, but I'm ignoring it because I have more important do things to do. Do you want to know something weird? And this is completely unrelated, Michael. For some reason, I forgot this one time that it gets so freaking toasty in this room while we record. Are you think it's hot in here now? I'm so hot. Dude, when we did our rock band thing, it was oh, insane. No. Okay, but no, we were jumping. Like, I understood it then. I We were all very active then in a small room. But I forgot that like, are you usually just, I'm Are you retroactively it. thinking it's hotter because of how bad I stink? 
Maybe, actually. Like, I'm sweating? Yeah, you... D- I'm used to it now. I don't smell you anymore. But, dude, that was rough. It's extremely... I, I'm a sweaty, sweaty boy. And I know that I look as sexy as ever on camera. But if, if we had a better camera, maybe if I we wouldn't. Had, if we had that Family Matters smell of vision that Urkel tried to pitch the dad on... You would turn it off. If we had smell o vision I've been watching a show called 12 Monkeys, and they go to the future. It's the 2036, 2044, I don't remember. And the world has gone to pot, and a plague has killed everyone. I bet it would reek. Wait. Are you trying to rate football? Yeah. We've rated football. No, we rated the other football. <laughs> No, I'm trying to rate w- w- watching football. No, football fandom. Oh, like I like, think it's pretty good, but also it's terrible because it's the same thing that makes people like riot in the streets. That's true. Ooh. When their team loses or wins, or like, have you ever been like talking to like an extreme sports fan? I'm gonna do this. Like, check us out. It's not dirt. It's my pants. Check us out. I'm gonna lean back. Like, I'm a cool cat. And I'm gonna say, have you ever, like... What the butt is that? A cool cat? It's a string on my pants. Oh, it's frayed. I see it. No, it's where the tag used to be. They actually sewed it into the pants. Oh, weird. Have you ever been talking to a sports fan? Who, like, has I their... Talk, I talk to nothing but sports boys. But, like, you. their entire day is ruined because their team lost. And you're like, dude... dude. <laughs> What? Are you kidding me? Like, dude, <laughs> what? <laughs> You're like, dude, I had an amazing day. My wife was so awesome. She made me a sick breakfast and went to work. And like, it wasn't like there wasn't work to do. It was like, I just killed it and got it all done. And I went home early. I went out to dinner. I came back and watched the game. And my day freaking sucked because my I team freaking, did so I freaking bad. Taylor freaking Martinez threw the football very bad. Those eleven dudes on that field, they just didn't do their job right. And all of a sudden, my day is bad. And that's all I remember: the sports ball. I all. Oh. I also woke up all of the people in the freaking neighborhood because for some reason I think if I yell at the TV they do better. And then if they I didn't yell go do go 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 go, all the running backs run faster and harder. I was like I can't even with these people, and I went outside and lit my car on fire. <laughs> Can we just acknowledge that you don't need to yell at the running backs to go 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 and run harder and faster because here's the thing i understand running backs are big boys but i think no matter who you get hit by on the football field it doesn't feel great they probably don't want to get hit they probably know if i don't run fast enough i'm gonna get hit by a big boy i'm sitting you don't need to remind (laughs) them to run quick it's gonna suck i'm sitting in the b-dubs and my game is on and i'm like yeah dog we got a touchdown and the other people from the other table are like no, man, your team got a touchdown. I'm like, you want to start some crap, son? And I go over there, I punch him in the face, because sports ball. And then, and then, my, I then freaking, I flip, they score a touchdown on me, we throw an interception, I flip a table in the B-dubs. I pick up my beer, I throw it right in their nose. I throw it at that magician who's always just trying to make a buck. <laughs> oh, there is a magician. <laughs> there's our, lo- our local B-dubs has a magician who goes around and tries to make tip money. <laughs> I forgot about that dog. <laughs> Talk about cool cats, my boy. <laughs> what a baller move. You walk up to someone while they're eating wings and half drunk, and you're like, yo, dog. But I can blow your mind. I'm gonna make I'm gonna freak your beans so hard. <laughs> I'm gonna make this quarter disappear. I'm sorry. We're not supposed to steal jokes as comedians, but the idea of freak your bean from a bam bam is so funny. Like, I'm going to blow your mind so hard because I'm gonna make this quarter disappear and pull it out of your chicken wing. Dude, you have to imagine that that guy's job isn't that hard. Like, he, I like, some of his tricks are actually pretty cool, but like. I freak, I could spend six hours on YouTube one day and then go do that because I think if you're dealing with half drunk people, it's probably pretty easy to but do also, some But also, it's hands. such a like pro move because like, what are they going to do? Tell you to buzz the heck off? No. But also like, 
That takes some guts. I, I, I respe- would never do I that. I mad freaking respect that dude. <sighs> like, I respect the crap out of him. And he doesn't stay too long, usually. He's, yeah, just, like, no, he's no, there he, for a few. He's really good at it. Like, at, like, timing, knowing to stay his welcome. And Read, when yeah, he reads stuff. the crowd well, and then he disappears, and next table he pops over, he's like, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> they freaking, they go to take a drink, and the guy's like, out, of the, pulls, out he, of the cup. He pulls a Burton Guster, hello. <laughs> Yeah, he he leads with a Pluto. That's messed up, right? And then, hey, <laughs> do you want to see a magic trick? And I was going to make a joke. Doesn't he have like a... Heck darn me. Heck darn me. Puma mode? What does he call it? Stuff mode? Hit yeah. the jackal switch? Yeah, jackal switch. Dang me. Heck darn it. Casual. What about football fandom? How do you want to rate it? I don't like. It's a five. Yeah, I was gonna Heck say that because there's just as much bad about it as there is good. It's an equal neutralizer that brings everyone together and tears you everyone apart and it ruins everyone's time. day. And make... also, we didn't talk about the fact like your team can win and all of a sudden a bad day is good. As oh. if that matters. Yeah. You know what matters? I understand that my dog died and my car broke down and I got evicted, but hey. Freaking sports boys threw that ball so right that I don't care. Do you know what matters? Whack. Whack matters. Whack. 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 Whack matters! Thank you for listening to Life's What You Rate It. I don't. I think we're gonna listen to this one, and it's not gonna be funny. If you, we laughed really hard during this episode, and I don't think it's gonna be funny. If you want to give us money because you thought we were funny, one way to do that is by donating by uh, going to our whackmatters.com page and donating us money. Another way is by t-shirt, um, which you can go to whackmatters.storeenv.com. We have a link on our website as well. But most importantly, at this stage of our life, I'd like you to just if this show made you laugh. For one, I want you to embrace that laughter and feel it because people act like 2018 is the worst year that's ever been. And I disagree. I but if you're know. if you're one of those people, let me tell you something. When you take that laughter, embrace it. And know that if 2018 is as bad as you say, that's the best you've got. And I'm sorry. We're not getting any better from here. I mean, I've I've always heard from episode 19 and on, it's all downhill on podcasts. Well, we're going to die before next week. The second thing I was going to say is, uh, if you can tell people about this podcast, like, if you thought it was funny and you can, like, interact with it on social media, we, we also have a YouTube channel, like, spreading is, the word is dope, yeah, man. And it is not a joke that, like, legitimately one of me and my brother's favorite things to do on the planet is to make people laugh and have a good time. And... I am going to beg you, if you are able and willing, to go to our iTunes page and give us some good, good five-star reviews if you liked it. If you didn't like it, please just don't do anything. But if you did like it, give us some good, good five-star reviews. It will feel so good to us when eventually we can start selling out and getting sponsors on the show so we can start making a living again. I don't want to have my child live in a box anymore. I want him to live in a room. (laughs) And we can't afford anything. So if you could just tell people about the show. We broke into a house to record this. You're not... This is breaking and entering every week. You're not only helping me, but you're helping my family of four. So thanks. Maybe I have one on the way too. Maybe I need the money. I don't, but what if I did? Hey, mom. I would need the money hey, more. Mom, you're gonna need to call Michael after this episode. He's got some big news for so, Neo Ponka. Like, oh, also, so next week, in lieu of doing the show again, because we might be dead, we're also going on vacation. And instead of doing the show like this, we thought we'd do a different kind of show, which is called a vlog. A v-log. Heck, <laughs> darn you, you, you idiot! <laughs> what a dumb joke you said there, you moron. <laughs> I can't believe you said that, you nerd. (laughs) We're going to make a vlog about our vacation, and hopefully it's funny, and we'll post it. So, it may not show up in the podcast feed, depending on how well it works, uh, audio only, but we'll do something, and thank you for listening. Do you have a joke to close us out with? Michael, why did the lettuce blush? Why? He saw the salad dressing. Thanks.